Hey guys, it's Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm just here to give you a very super easy tip. So in my last tutorial, I kind of mentioned that my mats needed to be cleaned, and when you guys asked if I could show how I clean my mats, you know, because they can be cleaned, just to save a little bit of money, because if you're like me, I, I have like a bunch of these. I have about five of them I have to do today, so I just wanted to quickly go over how I do it, and hopefully it works out for you guys, and you can save a little bit of money. So let's clean these mats. All right, they're dirty, they're dusty, they're full of debris. I, I have hair in mine, I, I don't know, it happens. And there is no stick left in these mats. Now, I'm not even going to attempt to pick anything off this mat. It'll all come off after we get going here with what we wanna do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray down my mat really well with my Dawn Power Wash. If you don't have Dawn Power Wash, just use regular dish soap that you might have on hand. Now, I have a moist sponge here that's just nice and damp, has some water in it. This is called a sponge daddy, I do believe. You just wanna sponge with something with a, a rough side and then the sponge side. So all I'm gonna do is take that rough side and be very, very gentle and do these circular motions all the way down to the bottom of my mat. And then we're gonna simply let that kind of sit for a little bit, but I wanna show you my sponge. It's already gonna pull off quite a bit of gunk off your mat, so after I pull my sponge up, you'll be able to see it. See all that? that that's, that's what's making it not stick. So I let it sit for a little bit just so that Dawn dish soap kinda could sink in onto any of those little vinyl, piece, vinyl backing pieces that were stuck on the mat. I'm gonna give it another swirl motion with my sponge one more time. Again, more debris came off. And then I want to take something very gentle. All I have is a old gift card. You don't wanna use a razor blade for this. You wanna use something gentle. And I'm going to gently start scraping down my mat with this old gift card. The reason why I don't like to use a razor blade is I found that it kind of destroys your mat. It will start to peel back all that, that stickiness off your mat and it could even start to remove the paint and that's how you know there won't be any stickiness left. So I found that using just an old gift card, an old plastic gift card and gently doing it that way works just as well. So now I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to remove any paper backing you might have on there. See, I have my paper backing there. I'm just gonna take that old gift card and peel it right back, comes right off, because we let everything kind of soak. So now I'm just going to go ahead and continue kind of scraping any little spots off. And when I'm all done cleaning all these mats, I'm gonna rinse them off really well. You wanna make sure there is no soap left on them. And then after you rinse them off really good, you want to make sure that when you dry them, they're standing up straight. So all that water kind of goes off the mat rather than sitting on top of it. You don't want any water left on your mat. So I just kind of do this where I stand them up all over the place. If you can, you can put them outside with some clothespins if it's not too cold out but you want them completely dry before you go to use them again. So now you remember this is what they looked like before, all dirty and gross, nothing would stick to them. And here they are now, almost like brand new because they are still pretty worn out because we use them so much, but I'm just saying. So now you know that your, your vinyls will stick to it and you won't have any problems that way. So to store my mats, this is how I like to do that. If you're able to, I just have a pegboard, so I have a hook, so I like to hang mine upright rather than putting them into drawers, because if you put them into drawers, there's, they become more prone to collecting debris that might be in your drawer. So I just like to hang mine up and store them that way. Super quick and easy, right? Just use stuff you have on hand, save yourself a little bit of money. Now I do have to say, I only do that so many times with these mats because they tend to they will lose their stickiness over time, no matter what you try to do. So I, I do that probably about once or twice with, with my mats, and then I'll have to go out and I will purchase more mats. But if there's anything else you guys want me to put together, let me know down in the comments. I, I'd love to hear your feedback. And I'll do my best to kind of do a video, maybe an extra video every week for you guys. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.